The Belichick era officially comes to an end. The New England Patriots parted ways with head coach Bill Belichick on Thursday after more than two decades and six Super Bowl titles. Just an incredible run, a remarkable run for Bill Belichick. And, and we, we kind of knew this was coming. Like, this was expected. There was a lot of speculation and uncertainty about his future. Finally, a much-awaited decision came after a few days of de deliberation. When a coach's voice becomes stale, so do the results and the team and those working with you. I respect the heck out of Bill Belichick, man. I, I really respect him. But this was appropriate, right? It was going to come at some point. All great things must come to an end. It was time to move on. Plain and simple. The Belichick era was the most dominant run in NFL history and will likely never be duplicated. I mean, I don't think another coach can come along and surpass that. He was a fantastic coach. Belichick's six Super Bowl titles are the most won by a single head coach in NFL history and tied for the most by a single franchise in the league. I mean, that is hard to duplicate. And I don't see anyone coming along uh, to surpass Bill Belichick. You are what your record says you are. And and you look at, at his resume and you can see everything the man has accomplished in 24 years. Absolutely astonishing. Well accomplished and a respected head coach in New England. But, you know, he's gotten older and things got stale in New England. You know, I felt like Bill Belichick hadn't caught up with the times. I think both sides were ready for a new chapter. I think both sides were ready to, uh, you know, turn the page. I think mutually both sides came to an agreement that they would both, you know, part ways, go their separate ways. Big picture. Bill Belichick couldn't, couldn't evolve when necessary. An old school coach who clearly couldn't evolve in the modern NFL, you know, and it was a tough adjustment for him. You, I mean, you saw it the last few seasons. This man leaves behind a wonderful legacy, though. I mean, you can't take that away from him, but it was time to turn the chapter. I've always revered Bill Belichick. This this one for me, though, was very predictable. I think most people saw this coming. I think most people didn't think he would stay on as a coach much longer. It was the right decision. Great call. As time moves on, things change. And what had transpired in the past couple of years, particularly in the absence of Tom Brady, I think signaled the end of an era. And, you know, the legacy of Bill Belichick was deteriorating. But I still think his legacy is intact, given what everything he's accomplished. You know, it, it's well cemented. The, the, the Patriots dynasty will always be a testament to his true greatness. The sentiment that Belichick's um, legacy has been impacted in a negative way doesn't take away from all he has achieved. Belichick, widely regarded as one of if not the best coach of all time i think it's one of those things we have to recognize it's one of those things that we have to recognize that he couldn't really win without tom brady you guys heard me say that as tom brady departed what have you done you've had three losing seasons in in four years one playoff appearance in four years so i think robert Kraft, being the owner that he is used to winning all the time. I think he wanted to go in a new direction and he has finally made that decision. I know it was a tough decision for him. Bill Belichick was his coach for a very long time. The reality is it is negligent to fail to point out that he hasn't enjoyed much success without Tom Brady. So today we celebrate the greatness of Bill Belichick. Now, I don't think this is the end. I think he will coach again in the NFL. And he's already linked to several teams, the Chargers being one of them. I can see him going to the Chargers. I don't think he'll go to a team where they're not, 
you know, constructed to win the Super Bowl. I think he wants to go somewhere where he knows he has a chance to contend, where he knows he has a chance to help with the development of a quarterback. And I think that's where he will land. So I, I like the Chargers. The Raiders, I expect them to get in, in on the mix, although I think they should consider staying with Antonio Pierce. I think he has made a name for himself in such a short time. I think he deserves to have the interim tag removed from his name. Um, and then another team is the Commanders. The Commanders are, are another team. And now New England. They will be... Uh, searching for a new coach. Now the search will begin for Belichick's replacement in New England. But I think there's, I, I think he definitely wants to coach again. I don't think this is the end. I just think this is the end in New England. Um, and there are several places where I can see him possibly ending up. And uh, the the team on my list that's on top of my list right now has to be the the, the L.A. Chargers. It has to be. And second would have to be the commanders. I can see him. Uh, I can see those being the preferable destinations as of right now. But again, Bill Belichick is out of New England. It's the end of an. It's an end of the. It's an end of an era in New England. Um, Robert Kraft finally t decided that it was time to move on from Bill Belichick. And here's a fun fact. Here's a fun fact. Since the Patriots hired Bill Belichick in 2000, the other 31 NFL teams have used 162 head coaches in 224 total coaching stints. Wow. That says a lot about Bill Belichick, who he was as a head coach, and, you know, that he had a, a career-defining legacy and a resume that stacked up. You know, I mean, a stacked resume. You look at all his accomplishments, man. Just amazing. 